There's still a long road ahead for many Bastrop County families hit by the most destructive wildfire in Texas history. It's been five months since flames took out more than 1,600 homes, leaving 5,000 people homeless. In the days and weeks following the disaster, nearly $4 million of donations flooded in. Many of you have been asking, where did all that cash go, and is it really making a difference? Tonight, our Erin Cargile follows the money trail in a special KXAN News investigation. Good evening. We want to show you exactly how your money is being put to work. This used to be a garage and a carport. Your donation dollars have helped cover the building materials to turn it into four bedrooms, a living room, and a kitchen where this family feels extremely blessed to be able to cook dinner tonight. Labor Day weekend, 2011. We need to call in everything we've got. A disaster that will be burned in the minds of Central Texans forever. As quickly as the flames spread across Bastrop County, Steiner Ranch, and Spicewood, donations started pouring in. It's a big blessing. Thousands emptied their closets and opened their wallets. In the last couple of months, KXA and viewers emailed and called asking where it all went. Some of us are out here wondering where it's all going to and what's going to happen with it. We tracked down three nonprofits who collected a lot of the cash for fire victims. Remember the neighbors helping neighbors donation drive set up at local Walmarts? They raised $150,000. The Salvation Army says 100 percent of it went straight to victims. They handed out $200 vouchers to every family whose home was damaged or destroyed. Our hearts out to those people who are and what about that star-studded night at the Frank Irwin Center where big name musicians helped raise more than $700,000. The money went to the Austin Community Foundation who ended up raising $1.3 million in all for wildfire relief. We do think we want to be as transparent as possible about what, you know, we are doing with it. 45,000 of it was spent quickly on immediate needs like gift cards, supplying food pantries, and helping volunteer fire departments. In December, the foundation divided half a million dollars among nine nonprofits working face to face with victims on the ground. The Austin Disaster Relief Network was one of them, a group that teams up with local churches who've adopted more than 400 families. This was our dining room. Carl and Maggie Conti and their four children are one of them. A concrete slab is all that's left of their home in Page. I think for a long time we just didn't we didn't come out here. The family had no insurance, but flames spared the garage that stood a few feet away. Their family of seven moved in mattresses and slept in the 500 square foot space. This used to be the workshop. Almost everything inside was donated. It's amazing. Um, everything that we have is new or like new or just as good as or better than what we had before the fire. We we're way better off today than, than before this disaster and it's been through the generosity of for the most part strangers. And there's one last organization we checked with who is playing a key role in getting Bastrop County back on their feet. The Bastrop Christian Ministerial Alliance, an association of ministers from local churches. The group declined an on-camera interview. In an email they said it would be a distraction and directed us to their website to find out how the money was spent. It says nearly $630,000 was distributed to 262 fire victims. Victims, but more than half who applied didn't meet their criteria and were denied. Those whose homes burned to the ground carried more weight than those who had one to go back to. Lack of insurance, age, and income were also factored in. The BCMA is no longer accepting donations. But some organizations like the Austin Community Foundation who helped turn this family's garage into a home are still accepting donations and are about to give away another round of grants. Groups on the ground tell me it is still needed because families keep calling every day just now realizing they need help. In Page, Erin Cargile, KXAN News.